CSS column property is the topic that we are going to discuss about this inside this class. Open your code editor and simply you can insert here article tag or a p tag. Then go to lipsum.com, copy some dummy text by pressing Ctrl C or Command C. You can paste, paste, and paste again and again. Now you can come here and refresh. You can see we have a very simple and unjustified paragraph you can see the text from the right side are not justified you can create a class or id here inside this and you can assign a name then go to your style tag for id you are using hash then column and i'm just going to use text align justify and the font size something like maybe 17 pixel one pixel bigger than the normal size a refresh now we have a justify and the 17 uh, pixel of font size for this column so for the column we have three property you can say column dash count is the first property that you are just specifying here how many columns you want if you want to one column so you can just write here one and if you are right you want two column you can write here two and if you want eight column you want here eight for right now i'm just giving two column here and you can save go to your web page and refresh now you can see we have two column one and two if you want three column or four column i'm just writing here four you can save and refresh now we have four column you can see four if you want to use border between the columns then you can just use here the second property column dash rule and here you are can see three pixel solid red and you already know the type of borders and you can see we have three pixel solid red border between the columns you can just increase or decrease the size for example four pixel you can set the type to dotted dashed groove or you can say double and you can change the color also to blue color now you can save and refresh now you can see we have a different border and you can uh, increase or decrease the space just around the column you can see between two columns by using the third property it's called column gap uh, just here column gap i'm just giving here 30 pixel px of column gap just between the columns now you can see we have gap of 30 pixel you can use here 60 pixel if you want save and refresh now you can see we have a lot of gap just between these two columns. you can see so i'm just going to put this on something like maybe 25 px save and refresh now this is just a normal gap between these columns yes friends for column we have three property column count you must give number of column here column rule you must specify a border between the columns column gap and you are giving gap between the columns i'm sure and i hope you are understand what is column and how to use column have a nice time and see you